Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my next video in a series of videos where I go over the options that are in my food truck that most people would rather not live without. Okay, in this particular video, I'm going to cover the cold plate, cold plate refrigerator freezer. Okay, and in this video, you'll, you're going to see the cold plate is circled with a red pencil mark around it with an arrow pointing down. This is your cold plate refrigerator freezer. The reasons why it's a refrigerator freezer is because you can adjust the temperature what to be either a refrigerator or a freezer. Okay. So if you want to use it as a freezer, you can just you know drop it down below 32 degrees or zero degrees and you can use it as a freezer. Or if you want it as a refrigerator, you would have it around, you know, 40 degrees. Um, this is a top loader, okay, a reach-in chest. It has three compartments, all right, with sliding doors. You can't see them here. I wish I had a better picture to show you, but I'm explaining it so you get the idea of what it's about. Uh, the purpose of the video is that very few food trucks or mobile kitchens are going to have a um, cold plate refrigerator freezer in them. Uh, cold, plate, cold plates are very, very expensive. They're mainly used for ice cream trucks. Okay. If you don't know what a cold plate is or what the benefits of a cold plate are, all right, I'm going to explain it in this video so you have a good understanding of what it is and why it's such a great benefit to have it in your vending equipment. Um, and why it would be such a disadvantage if you don't okay my truck has one okay basically what a cold plate is is uh think about if you were going to like a, a football game or any kind of picnic or something and you put these um things in your freezer that freeze up and then you know you put them in your in your uh you know carry container and put sodas in them and 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 the uh, they stay these things stay frozen all day long. Okay, uh, basically that's how a cold plate refrigerator freezer is constructed. Along the sides of the walls, okay, it has what they call cold plates in them, where over the over the course of several hours these plates freeze up. Okay, and they stay frozen, just as those frozen um packs would stay frozen in your in your freezer at home the ones that you're putting in a cooler and taking to the beach or a football game you when the when the cold plate refrigerator freezer is turned on okay for a period of time all the cold plates that are in this unit okay will all pretty much freeze up the same way okay and then when when you turn the unit off those cold plates all stay cold or frozen, okay, so that will maintain a proper temperature and keep the proper temperature inside the unit, all right, even when the unit is not being powered, okay, uh, and, and it'll stay all day long, probably like 12 hours or so, 10 hours. Now, the benefit of this is that this unit, okay, your refrigeration is your biggest source of power in a food truck. It's, it, it takes up the most energy, okay? And if you have a cold plate, okay, you can plug it in at night, wherever your base is. You can plug your truck in at night, okay? And then the cold plates will all get pretty much frozen, okay? And then when you go out to vend in a, an event, okay, the cold plates will still be frozen and still be maintaining their temperature for probably you know 10 to 12 hours okay without having to run this unit so you do not need that extra source of energy you will not need a generator you will not need to plug in to you know to electrical current because your cold plate will stay cold all day long okay that is the purpose of a cold plate plus the benefit is that because the machine is not running all day long it's obviously going to last longer okay because you're not going through all the wear and tear of, of having an engine that's blowing cold air throughout the unit okay 
So it is a big advantage, um, you know, to have a cold plate in your truck. And that is the main reason um, why you would want a truck like this or have a cold plate in whatever truck you're buying. And if you ask the question, wherever you're buying a cold plate, um, you know, wherever you're buying your truck, does it have a cold plate? And it doesn't, then you know you're going to be at a very big disadvantage. It's going to make it very hard for you to vend on the road at events, different places. Um, you're going to have to hope that you have electricity or you're going to be running a noisy generator all, all day long. Okay. So, um, a cold plate refrigerator freezer, this unit alone could cost, you know, four or $5,000 just for this unit. All right. So I get a kick out of some people that, you know, you know, think they could buy a food truck like this for like ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 when, you know, the truck alone, if it was empty, would probably be worth about 15000 And then the cold plate alone is, you know, another four or 5000 Um, I'm sure you'll argue with those numbers, but basically you know when you buy a professional food truck you know you get what you pay for in most cases and i would not do one without a cold plate all right this my truck has a cold plate all right thank you for listening to the video and i'll see you on the next video have a good day